This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman World News Report today, July 19th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Thomas Matthew Crooks had two cell phones and three encrypted accounts overseas. Hmm, I wonder if he was working for the state. Trump would-be assassin Thomas Matthew Crooks had two cell phones and used three encrypted accounts overseas. You know how easy it would be to find out who made the deposits in those accounts? But as we all know, he was just a patsy anyway. The shots came from one of the three snipers in the three windows above him. The same building, but yet they were on the second story or in the second story, watching him crawl around on the roof. We all know this was an inside job. Well, everyone but crooks, I guess. He was tasked and paid by someone, and I'm sure the FBI will blame someone via the account soon, but no one can trust a word they have to say. I'm guessing it's going to be Iran or China or Russia, Russia, Russia. Crooks was definitely not shot by the Secret Service sniper with a 50 caliber rifle, as no blood whatsoever was on the rooftop. Not to mention, a 50 cal would have destroyed him. His head would have been in pieces. He would have been unrecognizable. Instead, we were shown someone with dried blood on their head and no blood pool. A complete joke. Most probably, he was shot with a very small caliber, 22 or smaller, and he was shot in the head from one of the snipers in the windows above him, probably long before the snipers took the shots at Trump. They also reportedly managed to take pictures of him some 30 minutes beforehand and quote-unquote send them to the command or up command. Now, why would they let Trump go on the stage knowing they've got a guy with a gun in front of him? All three of the windows were filled with snipers. I'll show you a picture of that in just one second. What a joke. And for those who think the water tower was in play, you're very wrong. It is nowhere near the right angle or in the correct position. And it's actually slightly behind where Trump was standing and off to his right or left facing. It was reported by the Wall Street Journal and CNN that Crooks had explosives in his Hyundai Sonata, which was parked next to the rally. However, according to CNN, investigators found no online search history of Crooks researching how to assemble these homemade explosives, not to mention the remote detonator. What a joke. This is just another attempt to lead Americans down the wrong rabbit hole. It was always an inside job, and it always will have been an inside job, easily proven. Let me show you where the three snipers were actually stationed. And if you'll recall, the director said, we decided to secure the building from within. Crooks was, in fact, in the building that all the security was staged from, and the snipers were right above him. What a patsy. For those who care about the truth, the patsy was right about here, his gun was right about here, his backpack was here, and these are the three windows that all had snipers set back from them, aiming directly at Trump. The snipers on the roof behind Trump could see the snipers in the windows and all of the bystanders said they could see them too and were yelling at them about the guy on the roof. 
but they obviously had been watching him for over 30 minutes because they took pictures of him and sent them to command, supposedly. All part of the play. And for those that think that the water tower is in play, that's a joke. Trump was standing right here. Two snipers here, two snipers here. Shooter here, or Patsy here. And then the, this is the second story that they've been trying to hide with three snipers directly facing where Trump, Donald Trump was standing. How could the bullets have come from back here from the water tower? Ridiculous as usual. Again, they're allowing so many views of those videos about the water tower because they want you to go down the wrong rabbit hole. And this is a simple, simple rabbit hole. The director, Kimberly Chettle, first told y'all that that was the staging building for security. Then in this interview with ABC, said the building was secured from within. They tried not to show you the second floor where the snipers were, but of course I just showed you that. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be cons considered there that we would want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Uh, and so, you know, the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. This is a Forbes article, so you know it's not BS. Three snipers were inside the building Trump rally shooter fired from, reporters say. But they were above him and behind him and watching him the entire time. This is all an inside job, all a huge setup. It was so easy to figure out. The Patsy really was tasked to do this and really was paid to do this and it's going to be a long trail of money that i'm sure is going to lead back to some corporation owned by another corporation and going to lead to iran china or russia but in fact your own government put this entire deal together and the reason the building was actually secured from with the inside it's because the snipers were set back from the windows so no one could see the actual gunshots. This is a very sad day. I'm telling you all exactly what happened and how it happened. You saw the water tower was completely out of play behind Trump to his right. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.